Hello and welcome to this video on how to prepare for going to guide camp. When you're going to guide camp there is an awful lot of things you need because you don't want to die. You must always bring cake because it's nice to share with people. Sweets are good as well, usually more than two would be good because you can just eat them and everyone will always have a midnight feast. One of the most important things you'll need is clothes. You need to make sure you bring a lot of t-shirts, trousers and jumpers because it's likely to get very cold and you'll be doing a lot of activities. You need to bring clothes that are either dark blue or black because that's the rule. You're going to need a bed. You'll look really stupid when you're the only one there sharing a blanket with your friend. So you must always have your sleeping bag with a pillow, some bed socks, a jumper. But the last time I went bivying with my friend Katie, we got so hot in such a small environment we ended up sleeping in t-shirts and shorts. So I don't know what you'll learn from it. A little teddy bear! Because they're really cute and you can have parties with them. Pajamas! Preferably not this small. Bring as big and as warm as you can because you can't just sleep in your pants and a jumper and a pair of socks because you look stupid. Some rope. Rope is really useful because you can use it to build a washing line to hang up your wet clothes because chances are it will rain. You can use it to wrap up your bedroll and you can use it to build a shelter. And last but not least, a blanket! Preferably one with all these guide badges on it so you can show them off to your friends. I made this one myself and it's big enough to use as a cape for when you want to run around as a vampire. Also it's big enough to fit two people in so you can snuggle up for extra warmth. Everyone needs a trusty backpack because you will be walking everywhere. A lunchbox full of your lunch for the first day. You also need a lunchbox so that you can carry your lunch around when you go out adventuring. A water bottle to keep drinks in. A waterproof jacket because when you go out without a jacket it will rain. A hat in case it doesn't rain and it's exceedingly sunny. And sun cream because you will get burnt. A scarf for those long night walks and sitting around the campfire. My favourite Tigger hat which I've now become known for. And you can also wear it on your head when you go to sleep because you lose the most heat through your head. Sunglasses. Da -na 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 -na. A torch. Always bring batteries and spare batteries. As much as it seems a sensible idea to bring the wind up torch, don't. People will be annoyed with you. Because this noise gets annoying at three in the morning when everyone else is trying to sleep. Some tissues, because you will sneeze. Insect repellent, because you will end up with mosquito bites if you don't bring it and spray it before you go out in the evening. A notebook and pen, because you might want to take notes about things which you're doing, or draw some pictures, or you can just play mash when you get bored. Some hand warmers, to warm up your hands. And you also need all of your wash things, and a towel to be really small so this works as well you want to bring all of your general things that you would need for life don't forget your pants and your socks and your toothbrush you also need something to put on your feet trainers are very useful for all types of activities such as running football climbing abseiling all sorts of things so make sure you bring a pair and a spare in case they get muddy and walking shoes are also useful for those long night hikes and day hikes because you will do a lot of walking. Also bring wellies in case it gets muddy and make sure you bring cricket sticks so you can put your sticks in the ground, put your wellies on the top and you can wear them when you go out exploring at night. We're going to use the example of wrapping sweets in cling film to explain how to wrap up your bedroll. So first of all you have to put your pyjamas and your teddy bear into your sleeping bag and then wrap your blanket around your sleeping bag. Now pretend the sweets are a sleeping bag. Well, you, you would lie your sleeping bag out flat but it's easier to pile the sweets. And this bit of cling film is the waterproof sheet. So you start off by folding over the edges. 
to keep everything in place. And then you fold that over like that. And then you get this bit. Make sure these are kind of unfolded now. And you just roll it like this, nice and tight, around all of your sleeping bag and all of your bed things. And it will make a little parcel like this. To ensure it all stays tight, use your piece of rope. Make it about three meters long, because that way it's more multi-purpose. And put it in the middle. Now you get the rope, so it's even length, either side, just like that. And then you bring them across to the top, and then you put one under the other, like a little knot and pull them one to the top and one to the bottom then flip it over so you can see that line you just did and then put this one underneath here going this way and this one underneath there going that way so it looks a bit like this then pull them diagonally so they come a bit more into the middle and then you tie it as you would do a shoelace, making sure it's nice and tight and secure. Remember, it's going to be a lot harder to tie up a sleeping bag than it is to tie up a bag of sweets, because it's a lot bigger and a lot more awkward. So you may need a friend to help you. Tie it in a double knot to be extra secure. And there you have it, one bedroll or a bag of sweets, one bedroll, perfect for sleeping in at camp. This makes it a lot more easier to carry and easier to find your things when you unpack late at night. So thank you for watching my video, I hope you have a fun time at camp, thanks, bye!